What's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in. So today it's the 1st of October and it's time for another lawn cutting video. So I think there's only about four left since we're in October now. It's sad. So my last lawn cutting video was uploaded was the one featuring the 7073 and the Toro Pro Line commercial. So I'm only going to do the backyard. The front, unfortunately, uh, is kind of dead since uh, lack of water. Uh, we hadn't had any decent rain for three weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and film Franco, the boss's request to film uh, the Lawn Boy 10642C with the Briggs & Stratton Quantum 6.75 pound per feet of gross torque with Ready Start. The leaf blower, we're going to feature the BG55. And debuting for the John 3800 channel, we're going to feature this steel. Just picked this up on Monday for about 300 bucks. FS85 steel. I've always wanted to own one of these things. Uh, pretty powerful and from what I'm told, they're one of the best uh, steel trimmers for the professional. And it bears very close resemblance to the 94. Okay, so here we go. Unfortunately, I don't know what year this was made. I do know it's a 25.4 cc. So, let's see how this old steel starts. And you can tell it's pretty old since you don't have that FS85 badging here. All this says is steel and made in the USA. Okay, this one likes to flood easy. Put on on, put on choke. Think two primes should be fine. Hold the throttle in this one. And run. Oh, close. Beautiful. Now what you're hearing for the ping 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 ding 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 sound like a school bell that's the metal shoes on the clutch that rub against the engine and that just goes away with uh, as soon as you 
pull, pulled the throttle. But a great, great trimmer. I love it. Lightweight. Bit noisy, but nice buy for 300 bucks. And I think the only problem with it, it was bad gas that I had to drain out and adjust the carburetor and run smooth. Okay, now for this 2010 Lawn Boy 10642C with the Briggs and Stratton motor with Ready Start. This is the newest lawnmower in my collection. There we go. 10642C, the model, the serial number is 31,38.59. Okay, I adjusted the height to three and a half inches. Oh, there's one problem why it won't start. Helps if you put the spark plug boot on. Okay, I stopped the mower just to explain one thing, why it was smoking at startup. Well, because I had to remove the blade to sharpen it, I had to tilt it the muffler side down. Uh, because oil had seeped its way into the muffler exhaust, it had to burn it, so that's why it's smoking. It's better to tilt your lawnmower with the muffler facing down than it is to put the oil fi air filter uh, side down because what happens is that oil is going to seep in your air filter and you're going to have to replace it eventually. So, little uh, tip. All right, let's get back to cutting.
Okay, so let's see how the BG55 starts. Come on, choke, give it a few primes. Sweet. Remember the Explorer I picked it up on, I think it was it July of 2009? It's been a great blower. Okay, so there's a video featuring the 2009 Steel BG55 leaf blower, 2010 Longboy 10642C. And frick, I have no idea what year this model was made. I mean, there's no tag whatsoever on this machine since it's pretty old. I do have the serial number, which is over here. And I know the older FS85s had badging here and the newer ones had badging on this side and on here. So I'm gonna say it's probably a late 90s machine. FS85. I wanted to surprise you guys with a new steel I just picked up. Alright, so I think next lawn cutting video, uh, I think someone requested me to film the M series before the season ends, so maybe I'll go ahead and do that one. And the KM91 as uh, requested by a fellow YouTuber. So I think the next time I'll we'll cut it will probably be like in 9 10 days from now. Grass isn't growing and it sure got cold quickly. Last week was the warmest week. It was about like 35 degrees Celsius, 40 with the humidex. It was crazy. I loved it. Anyways guys, hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more lawn videos.